So with Scorched Earth releasing next week, if we don't get delays of course, I thought it was time we looked at the top 5 new things coming out with Scorched Earth for Ark Survival Ascended. And there is a lot of new changes coming that have been made to the new map, like whole new caves and whole new mountain sized creatures. Because Wildcard have spent a long time remaking the map with features they wanted to include in the original but couldn't at the time. So here is the top 5 changes and new things coming with Scorched Earth for Ark Survival Ascended. Starting with the Fasola Sucus. This tame is going to be amazing and I think currently it's seeming underrated compared to the Oasis or But these things look like they might pack a punch and be really scary, especially in PvP. These beasts might pop up suddenly to ambush you or swim around you fast enough to catch you in a sand whirlpool. I can't stress enough how dangerous this death trap can be. Plus their tails are strong enough to whip up sand and blind predators and prey alike. So it sounds like this tame has a whole lot of new mechanics and abilities that are coming to Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth. So they're going to basically swim through the Scorched Earth and even possibly in water. It's going to make it a lot easier to get around on the ground on Scorch by the sounds of it. And this sounds really cool. Think of it like a massive T-Rex sized Belovia or possibly bigger. It says if you can help it, recommend staying clear of those spikes. They've even got acid glands at the base of their spiny fins. So they can blind and they can swim through the sand. It's actually pretty crazy how powerful these sound. And I think they're a bit slept on, like no one's talking about how crazy the Fasolucius is actually going to be. Domesticated one of these monster sand swimmers would make a great mount. Good luck slowing down something that can shrug off most narcotics. You can soften it up with explosives by grabbing a spike and steering it into a rock. It kind of sounds like June, like you're going to kind of steer this and ride it a bit like a sandworm, is the way I'm imagining this, which sounds pretty cool. Imagine the adrenaline junkies able to tame a Fasolucius would earn themselves a formidable ride through these scorching sands. They seem to have adapted to fighting larger prey, so I'd advise any Faso rider to steer clear of packs of smaller creatures. They can swarm over its defenses, so you don't want to fight the smaller creatures with this. So it sounds pretty damn amazing. I can't wait to see how this team ends up in game. Next up, we are getting some new caves for Scorched Earth, at least one that we know of from the Extra Life event and Community Crunches. We know that Scorched Earth is getting a cave revamp. They're going to change some of the caves like they did with the island and they're going to add a whole new cave system. And some people in the community have been doing some research and diving in and have found some files that indicate there's some new Oasis spawn types. So this could indicate this new cave system could be oasis based. It means it maybe has some greenery down there or something to spice it up and add a bit more variety to the Scorch map. So it might be an oasis style cave which would be pretty damn cool and something we haven't seen on Scorch. And I'm sure that's what they're going to do is add something completely new and fresh to this map so that it brings old players back to check out the new game. It seemed like people were thinking it's going to be a deep cave due to the deep water addition, additional parameters they've added, but apparently this additional deep water parameters just means jellyfish and other deep water fishes like that. So it's not going to be any huge underwater tames, just some new additions and some new water in some capacity. So I imagine it might be an oasis style cave full of greenery with maybe a little bit of water down the bottom of it. So this cave could be a big game changer for the map of Scorched Earth. Obviously it didn't include much greenery in the past and having new caves to build in and explore is going to be amazing and just add more content to this map that felt quite scarce upon original release. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns up. We will also get some other reworked parts of the map like we did with the island where they actually remade whole new areas and made them look completely different and added new little base building spots. Look forward to some big changes on the map itself. Next up, we have the Oasis or the most controversial addition to this new map is coming in the sister expansion DLC that you can purchase for extra on the side. Now this tame comes with a pack, it's called the Oasis or and it flies and walks on the ground and it's the size of a mountain and on the back of it, it has pools of life that can actually revive dead dinosaurs. So there's going to be a whole new gameplay system revolving around this tame. The Arc devs Jeremy and Jesse described this as a sister DLC. So basically the devs said we wouldn't have to pay for Scorch, but they're sort of making us pay for Scorch. But it's optional DLC that we don't have to buy, but maybe we do because it's so powerful that we can't not get it, especially on PvP. So very interesting way to do it. They can skirt around what they said and basically get us to still pay for Scorch Earth DLC. 
is the way I see it. I wish and hope that this thing isn't too powerful, that it feels like a pay to win mechanic. But once you guys hear the description, you're going to think you can't survive Scorch without this. The Oasis saw, like most unique wildlife I've encountered here, this flying island feels like something from Legendary Fantasy. It's as big as a Titanosaur, but somehow it can still defy gravity. My hunch is the Oasis saw consumes great bunches of vegetation at once, so a handful of berries wouldn't be an enticing enough offering. You have better luck curting it with a topiary, a pot, or a shrub, as long as you're ready to chase rival suitors off the behemoth's back. So I think there's going to be an event once you start taming these things where other people might come and try and take it from you, or maybe it's so big on the map people will notice that you're taming it. This roaming oasis carries soil on its back so fertile that anything planted in it will flourish, even if it's practically ignored. So not only does it have water on its back, the water can revive dead teams, and it's really fertile for plants, so it's like a greenhouse where plants grow really fast on the back of it. Domesticated, it says this living landmass will nurture its long-term inhabitants. The friendship is worth the time investment because favored residents get access to the pool with truly miraculous properties. For starters, its restorative waters will cure bathers of nearly any illness or affliction. Most unbelievably, the wellspring this oasis saw can reincarnate your lost animal friends. So, pretty damn crazy. This is the most controversial thing coming to Scorched Earth. And I, for one, am, am very much on the fence about this, but it seems like the community is very divided on this. And it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm looking forward to it. All the new additions are great. Just as long as they're not too game-breaking. And I'm worried from Wildcard's track record. This may be one of those game-breaking mechanics. Up at number 4 we have the new Ascension for Scorched Earth. And yes, we actually got a Scorched Earth Ascension. Towards the tail end of Ark Survival Evolved. With the Manticore boss. But it was only a cutscene. And it wasn't too massive or a huge story arc or anything like that so for scorched earth i'm expecting them to do a full-blown ascension similar to the island where it might be multiple stages and then a big boss fight at the end and it might even be related to the new cave that we're getting because it sounds like originally when scorched earth released they had this planned to have a big ascension but then ran out of time at that point to add it in so it wasn't added at that point maybe we'll get it now maybe we won't but they have mentioned they're trying to rework the ascension Although I'm not sure if that was covered with the original Scorched Earth release with the Manticore boss. I think there's going to be more to it. And especially with this new cave coming, I really think that's going to be a part of it. So it'll be interesting to see if we get a new Ascension, which will mean extra player levels for official players as well. And lots of new story content for those who enjoy Ark Story. And probably lots of new places to explore and notes to collect. Next up, we have the new Frontier Adventure DLC pack that's coming with Scorched Earth. This pack is huge. It includes skins. It includes trains, shovels for treasure, dynamite, bar games, and so much more. This pack is going to be a big game changer for Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth. Originally, everyone thought this was going to be a paid mod, but it's becoming more clear that this is an actual DLC for the base game, which will mean I think it's coming to official servers as well as unofficials and just the game in general, because that means that more people are going to purchase this addition the arc devs want people to pay for scorched earth again and this is the way to get people to pay is to not make us pay for the actual dlc but pay for the secondary sister dlc they've called it and in this dlc we get skins and crazy things also the oasis or is a part of this a bundle so if you don't pay for this you won't get the oasis or the possible most powerful tame on scorched earth now so you're really going to want to get this Frontier pack, and if you don't, you're going to be left in the dirt or the sand. Because it's going to be very interesting to see how this affects gameplay, but I think it's going to have a lot of effects on how Scorched Earth plays out. So it'll be interesting to see how this is implemented. We don't know that at this stage, but we do know it's coming with Scorched Earth. The last bonus possible addition for Scorched Earth is Survival of the Fittest coming. Mr. Dolphin, who's a pro Survival of the Fittest player, tweeted about Survival of the Fittest, and Jeremy, Ark's lead dev, said there's a lot of Survival of the Fittest coming with a winky face, which to me indicates we could finally be getting the Scorched Earth Survival of the Fittest mode that they promised, because they said we were going to get a lot of variations on the game type, and we might finally be getting our hands on it with Scorched Earth, is what I'm thinking might be coming from this tweet. These are my top five, six things coming to Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth. 
What do you guys think of my list? What have I missed? Is there anything that you guys think is going to be amazing that I may not have covered? Or what are you guys most excited for for Ark Scorched Earth Survival Ascended? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be covering all things Scorched Earth when it drops.